there's no doubt about it that when the Marsh Pride of Lionesses work together as a team, their success rate is, is higher. And they start in parallel. We've got the two blonde girls, and they are effectively one predator. Now, just how they coordinate the next move, frankly, is anyone's guess. One thing is for sure, something is going on in the group. I think it's all down to body language. Who goes where? How are you going to make this work? At the moment, two girls side by side. That little look was, was quite significant. Let's just go back to there. See, she's looking across to her right. Now, I know because I was there, another of the lionesses, one of the red females, was over here. So she's looking and taking account of where her buddy is. They're starting to separate. So as one moves off to the left, the buddy just says, OK, I'll take the right flank. And you can see she sinks down and immediately moves off to the right. She's got a colleague out here on the left-hand side moving in. A stalk like this can take 45 minutes or an hour or more before the, the trap is sprung. If one of them is caught moving, the hunt is blown for everyone. There's the warthog. See where this circle is? Warthog in the long grass. That lioness wasn't looking at the prey, she's looking at her buddy, who's over here. So she's moving off to the right. Just pause it there and I'll show you what the setup is. We've got our camera car here. That's a lioness, believe it or not. We'll put the warthog here. There's a warthog. Now I can see one or two other females who are here. This is the important girl. She's cutting off the escape route. She's going to make a loop and come all the way around in front of the warthog, so if and when it runs this way, she cuts off its line of escape. So let's just see what happens. This is two different lionesses working as a team. We've got four lionesses, in fact, and I'm not able to see all four females because one or two have already positioned themselves in other parts of the long grass, and it's impossible to keep track of them all, all the time, even though we have help from spotters on the team. So now we've got this female, who's moved all the way around to about here. And another one that I'm filming is going this way. And she's actually stalking much, much closer to the warthog itself. But there was another female already waiting just about here, so that she was just crouching, not trying to stalk in close. And she's waiting for these two girls, who are doing all the stalking, to move in on the quarry. I mean, this warthog has no idea this is all going on. It looks very unlikely this warthog is going to escape. But remember, they're fast animals, very alert, and they're able to accelerate at a tremendous rate, up to 25, 30 miles an hour easily. Caught a scent of someone, lifted its head. Is the game over? Very wary. Definitely caught a waft of lion here. Head's going up, looking at the lioness I'm filming. Can't see her. Wind may be blowing her scent towards him. There, she makes a move. She's the one who runs. The warthog runs, and straight away the lioness cuts off the escape route, and out of the grass come two others. It's all over. It's even now, it's pandemonium. You have no idea quite what happened. Let's go back over the kill itself because it's so, so fast. She's running immediately alongside it, but not trying to tackle it. Why? Because she knows ahead of her is another lioness hiding in the grass who springs up now and she's coming out of the grass as though the grass itself has exploded and landed on that warthog. All the other lions put on the brakes and all she had to do was to present an invincible wall and I tell you, a lioness is just that, an invincible wall.